yet another unprofessionally filmed, hopefully informative, N64 video. Here's a V3 joystick. This is a 0.9 millimeter hex tip, 0.9 millimeter hex key. These are some tools that you might consider. You may only need this hex L key. Um, but I'm just going to do a, a very quick tutorial on how to safely remove and reinstall a V3 joystick internal screw. So you do not want to install your joystick through the top on the off chance that you could cross thread your screw and get the screw stuck inside. This is the way to remove it. Get some sticking out the end and then unthread it. The reason why you don't want to install it this way because there is no screw that sticks out when you're when you're threading. The threads for the internal screw start down here somewhere. So um, you need um, you need to have something sticking out as an insurance policy in case the screw happens to get stuck. So here we go. Easy way to install a V3 joystick screw without any danger of binding or uh, ruining the threads. Use the threads on this side of the threaded hole. The hex is pointing into the joystick and uh, just like when you thread into plastic threads on a N64 controller you reverse the screw and until you feel the screw drop down into the thread there I just felt it you feel a little click sometimes it's a little bit harder depending on the machining of that hole but just keep fiddling with it until you feel that it is definitely threading in so you'll notice that it easily easily glides on if you have wax on your screw it will be uh, gliding on but it'll be a little bit more resistance but this screw doesn't have wax on it just for illustrative purposes and it is going in and I'm holding on to the bottom of the screw eventually you can't hold on to it anymore and you can use your tool of choice if it's long enough probably this is long enough to pull the screw into the joystick. Now why is this method more safe? Well, because while you're installing it this way, you have a lot of a lot of screw sticking out here. Let's say if hypothetically the screw got bound and it cross-threaded before any damage to the, the internal threads here happened you could grab you have more to grab here and you can you can unbind the the screw from its uh, from its binding it won't get bound inside with nothing to grab on so what happens if if, if it gets bound inside with nothing to grab on you try to use your your uh, hex key and your hex key gets stripped and you strip the top of your thread now that screw is stuck in there pretty much permanently without without professional help so this is a safer way and it's pretty much um, I would say uh, I don't want to say idiot proof but it's pretty much non-engineer proof or non mechanically inclined person proof so there you go. That's the way to remove or install it. If you're really terrified of ever removing it, just don't. Just leave it in there. There will be no problems from not removing it. And if you want to wax your screw, you can just, as some people have done, um, have some wax and just dip it into the wax like so, and then retract the screw. That will work as well.